Welcome back guys to another episode of Black Hawk Rescue Mission 5. In today's video I'm going to be showing you everything you will need to maximize your desktop gaming PC or laptop performance. In this tutorial you will learn how to take full advantage of your hardware's capabilities, particularly useful to those with 8GB of RAM or less, PvP players looking for a competitive advantage and consistent performance at high frame rates will also benefit from this tutorial. This will also help those looking to create a much more immersive open world experience, taking full advantage of what the game can visually offer. Razer Cortex This software is particularly useful for those experiencing performance issues when running background applications such as Discord whilst gaming. Razer Cortex is a completely free and user-friendly piece of software. At the heart, Razer Cortex has been designed to help you better optimize your CPU, RAM and hard disk usage, saving you up to 2GB of RAM or more. Razer Cortex does this by focusing your CPU, RAM and hard disk resources on the game in itself, creating more opportunity for you to utilize other applications. The MSI Afterburner is a brilliant piece of software that needs little introduction. Predominantly used for its GPU overclocking capabilities, it provides you with a great way to test your GPU's performance. Do not be intimidated by this software. Your hardware may be more capable than you think. Although crashes may occur when finding the right overclock settings for you, rest assured, MSI provides additional safety features that prevent any real damage from happening. Although it should be mentioned that overclocking, if used excessively, could reduce the lifespan of your hardware. Finding your optimal settings for the MSI Afterburner can be easily done with a quick Google search. Although it should be noted that not all hardware will perform the same and your experience may differ. If you're experiencing crashes, it's usually a sign that clocks are simply too high. It's recommended that you run a benchmark for around 15 minutes to ensure that the game will run stable. FPS Unlocker it's a fantastic and super easy to use piece of kit. Simply download RBX FPS Unlocker to your PC, click open and you're ready to go. If you're looking for more than 60 FPS gameplay, max settings at 1080p or higher, you're going to require the hardware that is capable to do so. It should be noted when attempting to achieve maximum performance at frame rates higher than 60 FPS, it's recommended you have a display that can match the amount of frames being rendered per second, otherwise known as Hertz. This allows your gameplay to perform consistently without any strange artifacts on screen or screen tearing. Now it's time to enable Razer Cortex. You won't have to play with any settings. Simply navigate to the boost tab on the user interface and click boost. It should be noted that Razer Cortex can sometimes become unstable. I recommend adjusting your settings if these crashes persist. The MSI Afterburner can serve many purposes, such as underclocking, overclocking, and monitoring your in-game performance. The user interface, or UI, can be a bit confusing at times and may require a little research. 